Hey guys, and welcome back to Aussie Action 4x4. In today's episode, we've got a special treat for you. Our mate Jonah has bought a brand new Y61 GU Nissan Patrol. All right guys, so today we'll just be doing a quick run through of the car in its current state. Just be mindful, there are a fair few things on it, like this little nudge bar thing you see on the front that will be replaced eventually with something better in the future. All right, let's dive right in. Starting right at the front, we've got this genuine Nissan alloy nudge bar. They call it a bull bar on the website. We don't believe in that, you know, it's just thin, tinny stuff. Um, but mounted on that, we've got a nice little light bar. This is a big red light bar. This is in memory of long lost Big Red, the old Rodeo that we used to have, rest in peace. Moving up a little bit, we have these fancy spancy boys. These are the LED whips, they're about five foot long. And you know, they turn this rig into the ultimate party bus. Sliding on back a little bit. We've got the factory Nissan Patrol snorkel. Um, not sure if this will be swapped out to a stainless or not, but it does the job and it looks all right. Oh, and dropping on down here, tucked away we've got a two inch lift kit provided by the Lovell's shocks and Dobinson springs providing average around two inch maybe a little bit more scooting on back a bit um, these are just stock size tires they are um, just some Cooper highway terrains but they are mounted on some pretty nice body colored steelies in size 16 inch all right moving on to the interior of this beast so there's not a whole lot going on here, but there are a few tasteful mods. First of all, these Ford Falcon XR6 seats, leather wrapped, absolutely beautiful, much better than those stock standard GU seats. Um, of course, up top, got a dash mat. It's not really mounted down yet, it's just sort of flapping around, but that's because you don't really want to tack into the dash. Um, moving on down, we have a couple switches. These are just for various lights and whatnot around the vehicle. One of the mods that will definitely be coming in in a little bit will be a nice radio, UHF radio that is. Um, probably have a little secret little doohickey down there to plug it in. Nice tucked away unit. Uh, just trying to keep the interior nice and clean. Um, this head unit here is just a cheapo Kenwood aftermarket unit. That'll probably be replaced with a big old screen. Um, and there is one very special mod that we will have to take a closer look at in a second diving on down under here you can see we've got some absolutely beautiful 3d mats on down here they fit the car perfectly waterproof resistant to everything you can throw at them they're just bloody beautiful radio diving on into the back you can see we've got a pretty brand new spanking set of King's Titan drawers. These are the 1080 mil long length with the G Patrol wing kit. Um, drawers themselves, they're pretty solid. Not too much to complain about them. They're a little bit finicky to put together, um, but we have noticed the wings are a little bit dodgy. The cheap plywood here has started to bow, bits of carpet appealing up, but that's not too hard to fix. But the drawers themselves, they're pretty damn solid. Nothing too much to complain about. Okay, and one sneaky thing about this set of drawers that you won't find anywhere else in Oz, you pop open this bad boy, dive down in here. Hello pandas, baby. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, this is a very clean patrol. Um, if you'd like to see us build this up over time, be sure to stick around and check out the channel as we go on. Um, and we'll also hopefully get this out on some pretty tough tracks, which will most likely be a lot bigger than what my car has been or what Jared's car has been. Um, yeah, so I'll end this with a few smexy shots of this beast rolling through the hood. And as always, this has been Aussie Action, out.